Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought for today's video, let's do a little mini day in the life. I don't really have that much planned. I've got a lot of filming to do. I am gonna go out now and go to Herm Baggins, which is kind of rogue for me. Don't usually go there very frequently, but I need to try and find some more Easter bits for family members and stuff because I've got a few little mini eggs and things like that, but I don't really have that much. Like I, I want more sweet things. Like I feel like it's all chocolate based at Easter, but I want some like, like the little eggs and things like that, Haribo eggs. So I'm gonna try and go and find that. I'm just gonna take myself on a nice little walk. I'm not gonna lie, the sun has been bright. The sun has been shining. Tell me why, tell me for why it's gross guys now. The second I'm about to leave the house. Well, I need to get changed first actually, but after that I'm leaving the house. And look at it, it's bloody horrible. I thought you could just come along with me. I'll show you what I've been eating recently. I've been trying to eat more in a calorie deficit, which is kind of different for me, but I am very much still eating whatever I want, but just a little bit. And I do a little bit of baking this afternoon because it is my grandma's birthday tomorrow so I'm maybe thinking of doing something that's just quite easy to make but maybe just like a nice little treat for her and um, so I'm going to see what they've got whilst I'm out I need to go get some other bits as well so I'm going to bring you along with me I'll show you what I eat throughout the day I have already had breakfast I'm not going to lie to you I am drinking like two litres of water a day now which I never used to drink any water so there's 1.5 litres in here what I tend to do is if I'm at home I drink it through a straw because I just find it quicker to drink it that way and prefer to drink it that way so i've already had two of these i'll drink the full bottle of this and then i'll have obviously like 500 mils more so i've been doing that and this morning for breakfast i had a hot crust bun which was like around 200 calories i think i'm probably gonna have to leave some sort of like trigger warning on this video just to let you know i am gonna be talking about calories and stuff throughout the day but honestly i don't really take it that seriously if i'm going out for a meal i'm going out for a meal like there is no stopping me i'm gonna eat whatever i want and i have to have chocolates and sweets all the time but let me just show you this app that i've been using which i found really really helpful so it's called life sum so it's connected to my apple watch as well so i just pop in what i've been eating obviously this isn't this isn't sponsored or anything i'm just telling you what i've been using so i said just pop in what i've been eating that day and it's so good like yesterday i had 150 calories left but i was full for the day i did not want anything else and yeah i just track it the best i can i mean sometimes it's hard like i went to josh's work yesterday and i can't track that exactly right like it's not going to be 100 percent but i'm i'm enjoying it i feel better for it i have been talking for way too long about this now let's actually go out and do something this is outfit of the day i'm just going comfy to be honest i think i might check on a jacket as well because it's so bloody cold now the sun was so bright earlier and i'm so sad i have got just a nice little plain tank from pull and bear same a little light little cropped hoodie also from pull and bear and then my adenola leggings but look at what's happened to them what's that all about that's so annoying anyway so that is my outfit Today. just plain simple and comfy so this is the outfit just comfy i just want to be comfy today i am going to put a jacket on there i think because i don't think i'm going to be warm enough like this but just cute easy simple nice chuck on i think i'll probably go for this jacket just a plain little puffer yeah this is cute comfy feel warm there uh this is also from pull and bear and then i'm just going to put new balances on i think these could really do with a little clean actually but i'm just gonna chuck these on i'm in her baggins there's some really cute bits actually look at this i love these little bags i'm only 59p so i've stocked up on a few and i've also got some tissue paper there's two different ones but i've gone for this one i just think it's really cute so yeah i've stocked up actually it's real good in here there's some really cute things like if you've got little kids oh oh it's actually really really good like look at these that's so good for one ninety nine. that's amazing i've also managed to get some cards 29p are you kidding me they're so good i mean i don't get cards from any people for easter but my grandma always loves one so i've got her one i got my mum one as well oh my god these are so cute josh loved axolotls growing up i feel like i might have to get him some just because they're so cute i'm not gonna get these today because i don't need them but how incredible do these look <gasps> look at that filling and they do like the normal ones as well if you don't like oreos but wow they look good it's all of a sudden very windy which is not very fun goods i didn't get that much but i got quite a few easter bits which is good i am gonna have to go back out because i needed to go to asda well no my mom wants to get things from somewhere else you know like more fresh food bits but there's just nothing at all i didn't expect them to be in her bargains but there is like other shops that i thought may have some stuff but absolutely nothing so i am gonna head back out later but i'll show you what i got when i get home i am back i'm gonna make myself some lunch sorry it's a little bit echoey in here i thought i'd just show you what i got from I went to her bags and I also went to Heavens. 
just to see what they had in birth, really. So from Herring's, I just got some plain little dairy milk, little mini stroke things. I also got, which I was very happy to find, because I've been looking everywhere for Easter sweets. There's so many Easter chocolates, but never any Easter sweets. And I managed to find these big packs of Haribo eggs galore. So I get 10 mini bags, but they're just little cute things to add extra. I do like to get people a lot of little things for Easter rather than just one big egg because I just feel like you get more for your money that way. I got cream egg minis, which I to keep them for myself. Oh, look what I found, which I'm gonna make for my grandma tomorrow. So my grandma's actually celiac, and I managed to find a gluten-free brownie mix. Because to be honest, today I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do like full on baking, but I thought this is perfect. So all I need to add to it is an egg and some oil. So I'm gonna pop to Asta soon and go get them, and I need to get some other bits for tea as well. So I'm gonna pop them on top, as well as some normal buns and I'm gonna melt down some Milky Way bars so have it as like white chocolate as well but will the white chocolate and the caramel go together? I can't decide so I may not put the caramel ones on there but I'm gonna wait and see how I feel I got these for Josh I'm gonna give him them for Easter even though they're very much not Easter but that's a lot of just remind me of him because he just used to draw them when he was a kid and I just think that's really random out of all the animals in the world to choose from so when I saw them I thought I've got give you them, they're so cute. And I also got some Milky Bar ones, which are the best, they're so good. Then I got the tissue paper that I showed you in the shop, that's gonna be so cute to put in the little bags. I got two little cards, which I'm gonna write out and give to my mum and my grandma. And the rest of them are just bags. There won't very many to choose from, so I've got quite a few of the same. I've got two of the Happy Easter ones, Three of the poppy sets, I just think they're so cute. Couple of different designs there. And then I got my grandma, just a little one for her birthday tomorrow. And that was it. And I think all together for everything, it was less than 20 pounds, which I think is really, really good for the amount of stuff that I've got, like all the bags and stuff. If I went anywhere else, you're paying like a pound for a bag. So I thought that was really, really good. And the cards as well, because I wouldn't have got the cards if they weren't nice quality, but they really are, they're really nice. Like this one, it's coming out, like it's got, the shine to it, but it actually comes off the page a little bit, it's not just printed on, if that makes sense. And I just thought that one was so cute. So yeah, that's everything that I got. I am gonna head back out to Asda soon and get the rest of the bits that I need, but I'm gonna make some lunch first. Now I'm gonna make a bit of a rogue lunch, I'm not gonna lie, because we don't have that much in. So what I'm gonna make is like a broccoli pasta, which isn't really something that I'd normally go for. I'm just gonna have a small portion because for tonight's tea, I'm gonna make tacos, so I don't want it to be too heavy. And it's probably gonna be quite a carb dense day, but that is that is me, to be fair. I do love a carb, and I've had a hot crust one for breakfast, and now I'm gonna have pasta and broccoli. That is what I'm having. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't look like much. Like, it doesn't look like much food at all, and I probably will have a little snack afterwards just to keep me going throughout the day, but this is my food. Basically, to make it, all that I did was obviously boil some pasta, and then I, I had tender stem broccoli, so I just cut off the stems, chopped the rest of it up into really small pieces, and then I added that after the pasta had done, so I drained it out, left a tiny little bit of water in the bottom, and then I added a little bit of butter into the pan, just salt, pepper, and then I put cheese on top. But this is like the lighter cheddar one. But to be honest, I think it tastes the same. And I'm really excited to try this. I feel like it's going to be good. It's just like a nice, buttery, healthy pasta. Mmm. The broccoli isn't really cooked. But it's not rock hard either, which is nice. It's like a in-between. So yeah, I'm going to sit. And I'm going to enjoy this now. Delicious. And it's really easy. You can make it if you've only got like the bare minimum in your house. Food actually filled me up more than I expected it soon. It was really, really nice. So I feel satisfied for now. May have a snack when I get back in a bit, but my plan is now to get sorted and head to Aztec. Cause I just need to do like a little mini food shop. I have so much to do today. I have so much filming to do, but I feel like this takes priority. Like good food in the house and plus it's my grandma's birthday tomorrow so i do need to get some things for that today and i don't want to go too late so i am going to get sorted hopefully get that done come back bake and then film a video that is the plan just before i head out i'm gonna get myself a little snack now i have quite a few things open at the minute but i think i'm gonna eat the last one of these little rice cakes i love a rice cake i've got the milk chocolate covered ones these are like 75 calories which isn't bad at all and they're so tasty well, so I'm gonna have a little walk to Asda and eat this on the way. Mmm, it is so good. 
Hello, so I'm just breaking up this video to do a little mini look fantastic haul for you all. I've got so many things to show you, this is actually ridiculous. I am trying to prep, get ready for Australia, just do some self care, look after myself. So I got myself a lot of things, so I'm going to quickly show you what's in here. I also have a discount code, it is LFSAKC, I will also leave it on the screen. So if you do want to go and shop anything, I guess you're like 20 to 25% off, and then if things are already discounted, it usually saves you a bit extra as well, so it's amazing. So, I always dye my own eyebrows. I could go to get them dyed, but I have such sensitive skin. I just want to stick to things that I know work for me. So, this is the Ilo, I don't even know if that's how you say the name, um, dye brow in the shade Dark Brown. I love that. It's so good, and it lasts such a long time as well. I have been loving these pimple patches. These are the power... Excuse me. These are the power patches and these are so, so good. I really struggle with spots on my chin really. Like, they, I just break out a lot. And this really helps to settle them down a lot quicker. Just calms them a lot more. I've noticed a difference in my skin. I haven't broke out as much. And if I have, instead of it taking like five, six, seven days for it to go away, this is taking like one to two. So these are amazing. So I stocked up before I go away. I also got a few NYX bits. I think I've got another one in here somewhere. I got the brow pen. I always use this. I've got it on my eyebrows today in the shade blonde. Even though it's blonde, it's quite dark. I really, really love the colour of it. It's like the perfect shade for me. I stocked up on the brow glue. I got the clear one. And there's also a dark brown one in here somewhere. Because I'm going away for three months, I stocked up on a couple of concealers. Because I feel like concealer is what I'm going to be using most of the time. Like even if I'm like going to the beach. If I've got any like blemishes, spots, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on. So I stocked up on two of the NARS Radiant ones. These are so, so good. And even though the bottle looks kind of small, it does really last a long time. And I get it in quite a light shade. I get it in light 1.25 Affogato. Because even if I'm tanned, I don't mind my concealer being a bit lighter. So look, they're not the biggest, but they actually do last a really long time. And they feel really lightweight as well. This is something that Josh wanted to try so I thought I'd stuck up to take some away with us this is the sea salt spray it's meant to be really really good for your hair and like help with volume and help with the texture of it and stuff and I struggle with quite flat hair naturally so I'm trying to find new ways to look after it so I got this and hopefully this will do wonders for it and make it a little bit more voluminous I put something on my Instagram the other day asking people to recommend different perfume sprays to take away with me just because I want like a nice new scent to take away with me and everyone was saying the Sol de Janeiro sprays and I've tried a few of them, so I stocked up on the Rio Radiance one. I love this one. It's really nice, fresh, fruity, like the perfect summery scent. And then I also got the newest one, which is the 59, like the purpley, dark purpley blue colour. This smells so nice, but it's not as fruity. It's got like a fruity tint to it, but it's got like vanilla turns to it. It's a little bit musky. It's more for a night, I'd say. So this is going to be like a day spread. This one's going to be for the night. I just didn't want anything too heavy as well, because I don't know... Like, you know when you go some places, like, mosquitoes are attracted to you if you spray anything. So I didn't want anything to be too strong, because I don't know what it's going to be like in Australia. Then I got the Eco Style. This is the Crystal Style. And I got this one because the maximum hold 10. So it's like the maximum, maximum hold. And I love a slick back hair look, so I got that one. And I actually got a mini one that I'm going to take away with me of the classic Argan Oil one. So this is the little one. This is going to be packed away for Australia. Can you see the size of it? The size difference, it is so cute. Not bad price as well. I think this was like three or four pounds, which is amazing considering how long it's going to last me. And this again has the maximum hold of 10, which I didn't realise actually. I thought this one may be stronger. But even so, the Eco Style Gels are so good. And I just wanted to try this new one because it's one of the only ones that I haven't tried yet. I needed to get some new face brushes because man you know when you just use them for a really long time and they, they just need a refresh so i got the real techniques face base set i think i'm going to use this one for foundation this one's going to be good for bronzer i'm going to try this for concealer because i've seen people using brushes to like blend out their concealer and it helps like keep the coverage a little bit more and then not sure about this one probably like a highlighter or a blusher one but they're going to be coming away with me. I love a good Real Techniques brush. Honestly, I've been raving about these for years. But they, they're so good and they're so affordable. And you just can't beat them. So I stocked up on some new ones. I can't go a day without CeraVe. I can't go a day without it. It has to be used every single day. I moisturise my whole body. I moisturise my face with it. If I'm putting tan on my face, I use this before it. It is just my round all dye. I use the cleanser as well. Absolutely love it. Use it every single day as well. This is amazing for sensitive skin. It's completely fragrance free. And it really does sink into your skin really nice and quickly. Which is an essential for me. If things that sink into my skin quickly it drives me insane because I, I can't just stand there all day waiting for it to dry I can't so this this is great if you want it to be quick my boyfriend is obsessed with Aesop why do I keep dropping everything my boyfriend is obsessed with Aesop he absolutely loves it so I got the hand mist which we both use actually and I got 
one of the hand washes as well so this is more like a gel formula and then this is just like a nice spray to use but obviously we're going to be travelling to a lot of places I'm bound to get a cold at some point I'm bound to get ill so if I can try and avoid that as much as possible I will so hand sanitizers hand washes are a must so got two of them and then he also saw this which he said he wanted to try and I thought this seemed really exciting so I'm intrigued by this I think I'm going to give this a go it's an immediate moisture facial which in the sun I'm quite an oily person naturally but Josh has like it gets like dry patches sometimes so if he can just spray I have something on him that he can spray when he feels himself getting a bit dry on his face this sounds really really good for him and it's got it's got rose in it which I think is going to be the overall smell and I'm not a fan of rose but this is for him it's a nice glass bottle as well but it's very small like compared to the size because these are like plastic bottles this is glass but the size difference isn't that much and considering this is £9, this was £19. It's a lot of money. But if it works, if it does the job, it's worth it. Obviously, I'm going to be in and out of the water a lot. I'm going to be on the beach all the time. So I needed a new brush. And I thought a wet brush detangler, classic one, sounds great. Everyone raves about these. The bristles seem really nice, nice and sturdy, but not going to let hair, your hair trying to get through it. So I got one of them as well, just a classic black one. I thought it'll just slide in nicely. It's not too big in my backpack either, so I got one of them. I did my nails last night. I was going to record it, but then they were just desperately needing doing and like you know when they're starting to chip at the sides because I've had them for like five weeks on my other ones at this point so they just needed doing so I did my nails last night and I used the new Miley stuff this is I've used the builder gels before but I got a new color this is the five in one builder gel and I got it in white and this is what it looks like you know just a classic nice white nail can't beat it and then I got the top coat as well which I was intrigued about because I feel like a top coat can even make or break your nails it can make them like snap straight away it leaves a sticky residue that won't come off even though you use a white these together absolutely great I whipped it off with one of those like nail wipes like a shine wipe over the top and they're perfect really really good they feel really steady as well so I stocked up on them I think these were around like nine pounds each this was my other next one so I got the same brow glue in the dark brown I am a massive fan of La Roche-Posay I think again it's really really good for sensitive skin I use the SPF on my skin every single day I use the sun cream whilst I'm away and I also use the eye cream so I stocked up on this one and needed a fresh one to take away with me I really like this one even though it seems like a little bottle it lasts me so so long like months and months and months at a time because you need the tiniest bit you just rub it in your hands and pop it under your eyes and it's instant cooling which is really nice can you see hopefully you can a little bit it's like you can see how much has been used in the bottle so you know when you need to refresh it which is amazing and you know that you're getting like a full bottle worth of products as well I have been a hula girl forever but I actually prefer the hula light it's just a lighter more buildable color that works for me and then I do have normal hula as well which I sometimes go over the top with oh don't you love a fresh palette I just love it when it's fresh yeah I have normal hula as well so if I've tanned a little bit more or I want a dark bronze I'll go over the top with that and like contour with hula over the top but for every day hula light is my fave so i got a brand new one this is more expensive than i remember it being this was like 30 pounds which i do think is a lot for a bronzer but it does last me a really long time and i think for the money i definitely get my use out of it so i will always repurchase so that is everything that i got from look fantastic i thought I'd just include it in this part of the video to give you a little bit of inspiration show you what i'm stocking up on for australia back from the shops time to do some cooking i also stocked up on my essentials have to have pepsi max in the house i'm not gonna lie i never go for a big bottle like this ever but it's all they have so that's what i went with it's also really warm out there like i have been full attacked by about 17 bees and wasps on the way out which i'm not a fan of really hate bees and wasps which i forget exists i asked for summer i want summer and then summer comes and it's just full of bees and wasps and i cannot sit outside and enjoy myself because there's everywhere and i've never been stung and i'm scared that i'm allergic and i die to be brutally upfront with you i'm scared that I just am dead. On that note, let's make some brownies. All I need to do for this mix is pop all of this into a little bowl, I think. A medium egg. Do not have a medium egg, I don't think. I think I've only got large. Let me have a look. Maybe I do. I think it's a medium. I've got large ones, but we've got some medium ones in the house, so that is excellent. Should have read that before I went out. And 30 mils of vegetable oil. So 30 mils is not a lot. I don't even know if I've got vegetable oil. Can I tell you what this oil is? No, it doesn't have a packaging on it. I'm gonna guess it's vegetable oil, we're just gonna go with it. So, and I'm gonna estimate 30 mils. I think I've got too much in, I think that's about 50. That's about 50 that. So, I'm just gonna put about half of that into a bowl. I should probably turn on the oven as well. 
The oven needs to be at 180 degrees. That is the grill. One thing I will say as well, so these are the Jane Asher ones. I don't know where else you can get them from. I'm assuming online I'll be able to order them if you don't have a home bargains near you because in Manchester, home bargains was nowhere near me, so I couldn't have gone there. And I'm sure other brands do gluten-free brownie mixes, but I saw this and I was really pleasantly surprised, so That'll be a nice little treat to give me Grammy tomorrow. Oh my god, it's got like chocolate chunks in it. Oh, give me a second, I'll show you. That is so nice. Oh, and it smells good as well. Oh, I'm excited about this. These have got like big chocolate chunks in them, and you can actually see like the sugar bits are in them. I'm going to pick it up with these scissors. Can you see like the chunks of chocolate? They look really good. So I'm just going to pop in about half of the oil that I've poured into here. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe I've done it slightly, but that's all right. And then an egg. I'm assuming I had these at the same time. Well, I'll do it now. It's two bleeding leg. Empty the mix into the bowl, add the egg and the oil together with two and a half tablespoons of water. You know what, I do love baking from scratch. I really do enjoy it. Plus sometimes, when you can't be arsed, or when you just don't have time, there's nothing better than a little packet recipe. This is looking a little bit dry, but I'm gonna give it a set to mix together. We can always add in like a little bit more oil or a little bit more water. I added slightly more water and the mix doesn't fully fit, but that's all right. I just left a little bit on the edge free and it looks like a nice consistency, I think. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It says 25 to 30 minutes. The oven's not preheated, but as soon as it is, I'm gonna pop this in, tidy the kitchen, and then I think I might make up my little Easter treats whilst I'm waiting. I've made up one of the Easter bags. Look how cute these are. Oh, I love this. I'm just gonna show you what I'm popping in them. I am doing different things for different people, but I'm putting in a little egg. So everyone's got like different eggs, but I'm putting in a little one of the eggs, and then I'm putting in like something else. This is like, oh my God, orange mini eggs. Oh, they're so good. So like another little bag of treats, little sweets, and then like another little chocolate. And then the one that I've done for Josh has actually snapped, which is kind of sad, but that's okay because he'll probably just come and get it. He's not like bothered really about Easter anyway. So everyone's are really the same, apart from my little cousin, I've got him a little thing of bubbles, which I thought would be really cute. And he's got a little chick on top. I just thought that was a really nice, sweet little addition. So I am well and truly done for Easter now. I just need to get a couple of extra little bits but I'm done I've done them all which is great so now I'm gonna go downstairs and check on those brownies because fingers crossed they're not burning the washing machine's on so I'm sorry if you can hear that but I'm gonna just use one milky bar and melt this this is what the brownies looking like obviously I've stabbed it to make sure it was cooked but you know what it's looking good and it tastes really nice as well I've just tried like a little bit off the edge I'm gonna melt this now and pop this on top and then I think I'm gonna have to put it in the fridge for it to harden up but before I do that I'm gonna put the chocolate bits on top as well honestly after today there is literally next to no makeup left on this face I've just eaten so much chocolate as well so you know what I'm saying about this health thing I am eating better I'm still gonna eat chocolate I can't resist but I had about, I don't know, 200 calories worth of chocolate. So I've added that to my little thing for the day. This is what we're looking like. Quite cute. I'm quite a fan of it, actually. Did it all get a bit mushed up with the chocolate and the brownie? Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to leave it in the fridge now for quite a while. I need it to go, like, fully hard. So probably a couple of hours. And then I'll cut it up. I'll probably, like, box it up for my grandma because tomorrow we're having, like, a full meal. So I doubt she's going to want to eat it. That is done. And now I'm going to just chill for a little bit. I feel like I've been, like, go, go, go all day today. So I'm going to chill. And then I'm going to make tea when my mum is back. The washing machine is really loud now. So sorry about that. But this is tea. So we've got a nice just little veggie bowl. I would normally add onions and peppers to this but my mum doesn't like them so we're just keeping it quite plain tonight got some little nachos not too many but just a nice little handful each got some salsa to put on everything and then here are our little tacos how nice do they look we've got peppers on my side because i just love a pepper but these look so nice i can't wait to eat all of this yummy food hair's gone back makeup is non-existent anymore but i have finished my little brownies and i've popped them into two little tupperware dishes now they're very very soft and I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that they're not actually cooked fully i think they are look at that all the layers they look nice don't they but they're just a weird consistency but i think it's because they're gluten-free and they kind of did get stuck to the pan a little bit but can you see that it's just very moist Ugh, i hate that word can you see that but i'm in the fan 
It tastes really delicious actually, so I'm pretty impressed. Now I am going to go clean the kitchen because after tea it is a big mess and then I'm going to go and get a nice bath I think and read a new book because I've just finished another one so I love a fresh book but it does take me a little bit of time to get into them so I'm going to pick one out tonight. So I'm in the bath, this is what I'm going to read, it's called In Five Years, I have never heard anybody talk about this before so I don't know if it's any good but to be honest I bought this because it had the New York landscape on it I couldn't resist it New York has a special place in my heart so I had to get it I don't know what it's about but I'll keep you updated to see if I like it I've just got out of the bath hence why I'm very very rosy cheeked even more so on camera than I would say in real life but I just thought I would quickly show you my like skincare routine before I go to bed I'm not even going to bed it is literally half past seven so I don't know why I'm saying I'm going to bed but for the rest of the night I'm gonna go downstairs I've got Big Brother to watch I've got Meredith Fairside so Australia to watch which is the best shit ever and then my plan is to edit this video in bed and then go to sleep for the night so i thought i would just quickly show you my skincare routine and then i'll end the video here because the rest of the night's not going to be that interesting what i'm going to have for pudding tonight because i feel like i've overindulged a bit because i tried that brownie and i was sort of eating it as i was making it so i feel a bit fed up with chocolate and things like that so for tonight's snack i'm gonna have like a little fruit bowl i'm gonna do some strawberries a banana and some grapes as well so that's all i'm gonna have for the rest of the night to eat i will have a look on my app and tell you how many calories that comes up to in case you're interested but i have already cleansed i've double cleansed with the cerave moisturizing cleanser the green bottled one i absolutely love it the first time i do it is to get my makeup off and then the next time i do it is really just to clean my skin but as always there is always a tiny tiny bit left over especially around my eyes because i found it hard to get my mascara off so i also go in with the oh, look at this it's hanging on for dear life bless its little heart the garnier micellar water i'm gonna have to buy like a fresh one of this when i get to australia but i'm just trying to make that last which i don't know if it will as you can see not loads comes off but there is still a bit of makeup left on the skin then i go in with the la roche posay i don't know if they do multiple why aren't they focusing come on excuse me i don't know if they do multiple eye creams but this is the one that i use oh my god i am so red after that bath my face gets so red so easily like on holiday i'm just a bright red mess i just put one pump onto my hand and then rub that in underneath the eyes i find that so soothing and then i use the filter by molly may face tanning drops i don't use too much of this and to be honest i've not used it in a few days hence why i am extremely pale right now i'm just going with a little bit of this i'd say i use maybe i'd say about two drops every time and then i blend this out onto the little mini mitt and then i just pop this onto my skin i find using the mitts really useful because it stops it obviously from going on my hand doesn't leave any mark of the tan but it also helps to blend it in more naturally so it's not as intense it says you can use up to 10 pumps i think on this i swear it does yeah four to ten i never use four to ten i'm not gonna lie i only ever use like two because i just don't want it to be too intense and i really try and avoid the eyebrow area just because it really sticks to it i've only got one pimple at the minute but i've been using these purified power patches and i love them this is one of the packets and i'm just gonna pop it right there I do struggle with spots underneath the skin really bad really bad and I can feel these ones just coming up so I'm gonna pop a pimple patch on it hopefully before it gets too bad actually I can feel one here as well so I am just gonna pop on another one and then I'll probably leave these on overnight which I don't think you meant to I think it says eight hours max I know maximum 12 will I be up in 12 hours probably not but as soon as i wake up i take them off and that is my go-to skincare routine at the minute and to be fair i'm quite happy with my skin at the minute it's looking good i do struggle a bit with my skin down here and um, as you've probably seen in videos and i've had a few bad spots on my forehead i do just want to say as well because sometimes i notice it on my videos like my makeup's like a little bit patchy or you can see my spots on my head or on my chin and i do get a little bit self-conscious about it sometimes because for one people like to comment on it it's just not cute is it but i get really hot and sweaty and oily naturally so my makeup really struggles to stay in place i don't put foundation on every day so sometimes you can see things a little bit more i don't put any filters on any videos at all you can put filters on your camera to like blow your face out a little bit more so it doesn't show your spots and a lot of people do do that i have chosen not to do that on my channel since the beginning of starting my channel i've not ever put any filters on any videos i like to keep it real i mean i've got my light on right now but like when i'm out at shops and stuff i'm not gonna put my light on so you see my makeup like in its worst lighting in its worst state so yeah i just want to say for the record like a lot of people not a problem at all if you're very happy doing that do it 
do like put filters on their camera to make their skin look better than what it does look. I don't want to do that because you know it's just normal it's just real life my skin isn't perfect by any means so you can see it sometimes when I've got spots on my chin you can see it it drives me crazy I really hate it and it makes me quite self-conscious sometimes posting videos especially if I know that I've got a big spot like you can see it on the camera I do it because it's just normal so I don't really know how I've got on to talking about this didn't mean to get talking about it but I'm quite happy with my skin today tomorrow could be a different story I can wake up in the morning and have like little spots on my head and bulging under the skin spots i just i just struggle no matter what i do and i really have a good skincare routine that really works for me especially considering i've got very very sensitive skin i am going to leave the video here i really do hope you did enjoy this one i know a lot of it was just like baking and cooking and showing you meals oh i did actually say that i was going to show you my calories for the day didn't i it says up to now i've had 1782 which is quite a lot for me to be honest compared to like other days i mean i'm say i'd say i'm around like 1600 at the minute and it still says that i have another 173 left over which i don't think i'm going to have today but i have been pretty active all day long i'm not mad about that i am not going to stop eating my favorite things for anyone or for anything but i am just trying to get in a bit of a better shape before australia and just feel a bit better in myself which i definitely do so yeah i really do hope that you did enjoy this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below so you don't miss any of this and i will see you very soon